The graph of g of x equals the opposite of two raised to the power of x minus one can be obtained from the graph of f of x equals two raised to the power of x by which actions? We first need to determine whether we would reflect f of x across the x-axis or y-axis, then determine whether we would shift the graph right, left, up, or down one unit. Let's explore this. Here we have the graph of y equals two raised to the power of x. Now we will graph the function y equals a times two raised to the power of x plus d, where when a is one and d is zero, we get the same exponential function, which is now graphed in blue. And now if we change a to negative one, we will have the graph of y equals the opposite of two raised to the power of x. And notice when we do this, the new graph is the graph of y equals two to the x in red reflected across the x-axis. And this should make sense because, and this should make sense because for the same x values, now the y values or function values are going to be opposites. And now if we change d to negative one, notice how the blue graph is shifted down one unit or the graph of y equals the opposite of two raised to the power of x. This is the graph of the function we want to consider, which again is y equals the opposite of two raised to the power of x minus one. Again, we have a reflection across the x-axis and then a shift down one unit. So going back to our work, to graph g of x, we would have to reflect f of x across the x-axis and then shift the graph down one unit. And now we're asked to give the domain and range using interval notation. Let's go back and look at our graphs again. So again, the graph of g of x is the graph here on the right, which we can obtain by taking the graph of y equals two to the x, reflecting it across the x-axis, and then shifting it down one unit, which again gives us this final graph. And notice how g of x does have a horizontal asymptote of y equals negative one. And now the domain is a set of all possible inputs or x values. X can be any real number, and therefore the domain is all real numbers, which using interval notation is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Graphically, we can tell the domain is all reals because the graph goes left and right indefinitely without any holes or breaks. And now the range is a set of all possible outputs or y values. So looking at the graph, notice how the function values approach y equals negative one and then go down from there and approach negative infinity. So the range would be y or f of x is less than negative one, which using interval notation, which is the open interval from negative infinity to negative one. We have a parenthesis to the right of negative one because negative one is not in the range. If it was in the range, we'd use a square bracket. I hope you found this helpful.